So welcome to part three of the Kitbash tutorial converting um, Commander Shadow Sun into a Imperial exosuit. Um, I have changed the pace of this video a little bit. Uh, what I will do is prepare one side of the model um, beforehand, off camera, so to say, so that I know exactly what to do on the other side and then we'll record this part for you. So um, the next step that I already did on her left side is getting the arm in the right position, meaning getting the shoulders a bit slimmer and changing the original hand into a hand that wields a kind of a controller thing. So what we uh, need for that is for one thing from the uh, Tempestus Skyans an arm, I think this one originally held the last pistol or the bolt pistol, I'm not sure. We also will need um, from the Adeptus Mechanicus Dune Crawler um, both arms of the gunner to get the pistol grip with attachments. And we will have to cut away this part over here to make room for the arm. If I had known this um, before, if I had yeah, looked uh, more close to proportions of the model, I could have done this um, before the model is uh, assembled thus far and it would have been a bit easier but I think we will manage quite well. Still, um, only the main body is glued together. I can remove the head and arm at my own leisure. I also will remove the model from the plinth so I have um, have it um, most accessible for doing that. So we want to copy this cut over here to the side, to her uh, right side. Let's see where we roughly go. Be from here to here. We will do not want to lose that detail at the moment. <clears throat> Could be that we will get rid of it later. Lucky thing about that razor saw blade I use at the moment is that I broke up the edge at some point and thus can reach a few few areas more easily, it seems. Not in this case though. Would work pretty well without that. As mentioned before, it might seem that uh, what I'm doing uh, is kind of, uh, if not insane, then dangerous. But when I attach my thumb to the model and have the knife in, in, in my hands like this, doing a fist, I can totally control where it goes and how far it goes and if things get point shaped I always see that the knife would 
hit my thumbnail and not soft flesh. And after a while you get kind of a um, muscle memory so you exactly know how much pressure to apply to cut the plastic. Maybe if you're new to this don't start with complicated stuff like that. Always use a cutting mat or a piece of leather and cut in a way that you won't cut yourself. Here again I'm giving myself full control of the knife by only going as far as my fingers would go. I'm applying not too much pressure but rather move the blade along so that I uh, do not push but cut. We'll do the rest. You can do the rest either by scraping away with the side of your cutter or using some files. I pretty much prefer um, hobby files for wood because they are a little bit rougher and I when I do kit bashing I don't want a smooth surface. It's not like uh, when cleaning up a model. Um, rather the rough surface the wood files give me helps me later to squeeze the parts together when gluing them. So we have roughly the same space removed. I wanted to keep my tools on the left so I don't hit the camera too often. Maybe I will have ingrained that in episode 4. <coughs> so don't go too clean on this because we don't know yet where we will what we will do to the to the um, rest of this area. So now we can reattach the head and the right arm. So now I will remove the original hand and replace it through the Adeptus Mechanicus gunner hand and I will also reshape the pauldron over here so that it's a little bit smaller, less ornate, so that if um, she moves it around it won't get stuck on the plates of her armor. Should have cleaned up that little part. By the way, if you um, enjoy these videos and if you uh, have anything to say about it, please leave a comment. I love to hear critique too, if it's constructively. Like, um, yeah, should I do, should I play music or or not? Is it okay like it is? Do you want uh, more, would you like more focus on bits and stuff? Can you see everything? Do you need close-ups? Whatever. Whatever comes to mind. I only can make these videos better if I know what to do better. Here we go and so that we don't 
lose that tiny part I will put it in a blister now to that little thing let's see if we can go I also have used a strip of leather attached to a wooden cube so that on some parts I can uh, reach the area where I want to cut it more easily uh, without breaking breaking the model no. I'm just removing the edge and give it a yeah, kind of a dent over here so the plates still look articulated but uh, don't have the big protruding parts that would be in the way when moving around. We will also have to get a bit of that plate removed and over here wasn't quite as clean as I wanted to be. So you see the process of um, this is quite time-consuming. We're already over 10 minutes into this just getting an arm and a hand on the right place to the right place on the model. What I did here, I made a relief cut first so that my cut that goes perpendicular to that won't remove the edge of that. Armor. Here we go. Also need to remove part of that necklace. No, no, it's not a necklace. I'm, I don't know what you call a bracelet, probably. When it comes to a point where I can't or where I need to, to have my blade close 
to the thumb. I always hold it in a way that I don't cut into it. That won't work with a regular sized uh, blade. That only works with Mark 12 or Mark 69 is roughly the same shape. Because the, the regular blades that are much longer always have the cutting edge over here. Even if you go go like this, you still have uh, roughly two centimeters of blade that can uh, go wherever you don't want it to go. Bad English. Okay, so that's it. The next step um, will probably be attaching the Tartarus Terminator plate. On top of that all, making space for the arms to move again, add a little spacer, and then uh, go on from that point. So, uh, see you in a moment. Here we go again, experiencing uh, issues with the lighting again. Hope you don't mind. So, um, I have simply attached a small bar of sprue to the back of her neck. I also have glued um, her neck seal into place so that we uh, have that fixed and know our uh, reference points where to work at. What I now will do is try to get the Tartaros Terminator, no it's a cataphracti Terminator body in place over here. That should be quite simple. Should be, should, could go wrong too, but what we, where we need to, to, to focus our attention is to the front, because we will see uh, the ring that works as a gorget. And the part over here will probably be covered up by armored shoulders. Okay, what we now have to to do, sorry, has to get rid of that part down here so the shoulders have free movement Sadly, I don't have a wood file with a half round profile, so I'll use my regular modeling file, which is a lot smoother. But works for that piece as well.
that should work. It will make sense at this point to put a little bit of glue, just a little tiny, tiny droplet over here to get the cataphracti part uh, fixed in place. Um, instead of doing that with uh, the blue tag where it would slightly adjust over time or uh, wouldn't sit right um, where it where it should so I will leave that to dry and now we can build up um, around that in the next section so before we go on or um, uh, however um, I did a bit of work off camera attaching a side of a Imperial Knight from Adeptus Titanicus and before I show you how I did that and before I continue um, I have uh, removed the cataphracti plate to create a bit more space for the head so that we can get that into a better angled position once sorry once we have once I have done that cleaned it up I will glue on her gun arm because I know the exact position where it has to be then I will uh, arrange the head and then I glue um, the top part onto the model and also will do will attach a few cables to fill that little space on the side. So for the cables I want to use that um, Adeptus Mechanicus Cataphron Servitor Claw. I will want to use um, these two digits on the feet of the model nonetheless. And now we'll cut off these two um, lines, these two cables, to attach them to the uh, around the head of the model. I'm trying to be really careful, not much pressure. Let the saw do the work. Also recommend cleaning up the blade from time to time because as soon as it gets filled with the little plastic stuff it won't cut as good as it should. So with the two front parts sawed off I can now go in with the cutter and remove them without them breaking off. them to be somewhere over here using the part where what about oh that's a good fiddly stuff 
we're always take some time so don't rush it I don't know why I have used my left hand instead of doing it my right and just turning around the model. I'm sorry for going off camera again. Um, I tried to get the gun arm almost level to the ground. Not totally, a little bit down so that we get a slightly bent down firing line with the gun later. Quick test of the cable isn't in the way. Looks good. Oh, there it goes. Another tip, good tip is to um, hold that part that you want to use with your finger so the part that you don't need flies away instead of the other way around. Makes sense. Doesn't always doesn't always come to mind instantly so in this case I'm gluing on the head too after removing that um, ugly mode line as best as I can. Usually you would uh, attach the head last because the the head makes the model, so to say. It has to follow the lines of the model. In this case those lines are pretty much um, pretty much put down already. I know where the gun is pointing, and I won't be able to um, get the head uh, glued in when all the armor is attached around it. So. We have to do it now. Keep her looking at her along her outstretched arm, keeping the head level to the ground. And after making sure 
that we have enough space for her shoulder to work. We can glue on that part too. I'm sorry, I'm um, leaving the area of the camera quite often in this episode. Don't know why. Here we go. Next step will be preparing the uh, secondary um, shoulders. I'm using the side parts or the shoulders from the Adeptus Titanicus um, Imperial Knights. Uh, we have to cut away a few parts um, using the saw and my clippers mainly. First of all I remove that part that would go sideways. Then I'll cut a straight line down here. And after that going Diagonally somewhere over here. Keep that bit for later use. to get rid of that part that part over here and cut away that whole rim over there so we have the these rings free to have parts attached. In my case I want to have the cataphracty shoulders of um, Stalock Athan on top so I'm making them to fit these. Another option would have been um, the huge shoulders from the M-Bot. You can use regular cataphracti shoulder pads, shoulder pads as well, or maybe some stuff from uh, Orcs, or even use the original Knight, Imperial Knight shoulders for that. I will um, I will show you um, how these will transform the model so you can or maybe you can uh, thus understand my design choices and this is pretty much it needs a bit refining here and there and then last but not least we have to flatten that area 
so we have have it level and a bit thinner Sadly, I can't really zoom in as close as I would want to. Because the image gets real grainy when I do. But I think it's pretty much clear what I'm doing. Of course, if you have another idea or another piece, another bit in mind to use in that area, feel free to do so. Let's see where we have attached the other part. I'm going almost flush with that um, part of sprue that we glued in, so we'll do that over here too. Trying to get them as much as possible so we have good symmetry while the uh, right arm with the gun was quite um, easy to fix early because um, that's yeah it's the, the the active part of the model we know where the the gun is pointing, we know where the arm um, is pointing and that will pretty much um, be defined. I don't yet know um, where exactly the blade arm will go and it could go like this, it could go more, um, to, more to the back of the model. We will have to check the various um, positions of that and when the blade arm is attached then we can do the other arm the left arm before that we don't really know um, how the thing looks and I see that I have cut a bit too much over here have to go back and just clip that off so now we have the same on both sides. What's next? Well I think next will be episode 4. See you soon. Stay tuned. Be excellent to each other. So I totally forgot to show you how the different types of shoulders will 
change, drastically change the appearance of the model. So as said before, I want to use the Cataphracty Terminator armor plates of Stellog Athan or the 30k um, Cataphracti Captain. Because it's a really tight fit, it's ornamented um, to show the status of the model and it's slim and goes well proportion wise uh, with the rest of the body. Let's attach the leg so we have a better view. So the initial thought that I had seeing that model was to combine it with the Ambot shoulders which gave the model a much larger larger bulk in this case too much I think we would have to um, attach another part of armor over here or turn it around and it would get really bulky if you like that of course feel free to use these Ambot shoulders and last but not least um, the original knight shoulders that come with the model they work too but could in the end could in the end give the model a too similar appearance to the knight and thus just look like a bulked out knight but it also um, could uh, work pretty well so as you know, to to having a smaller version of an imperial knight for my taste um, it leaves too much open areas around here you could easily um, work around that and now um, that I have it around it actually doesn't look that bad like uh, five minutes before so let's see how it would look with that part around. It's a really, really nice silhouette reminding of a um, StarCraft Space Marine, something like that. So one could probably work with that if you have used the night parts uh, instead of um, yeah, instead of uh, getting a hold on Stellar Athan. This would be a another approach of doing that model. The cool thing about this is you can wait with the shoulders right until the end, mostly, because they are pretty much um, single pieces attached to the frame of the model. So you can choose uh, choose later. So, see you next time.